Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in this video we're going to be looking at the Vibration API within JavaScript and a few mobile devices. Okay, so essentially the Vibration API allows you to physically vibrate mobile devices using JavaScript. Uh, but unfortunately it's only um, supported on a few mobile devices so if you were to go to the MDN um, page for the navigator.vibrate um, method so basically the vibration API we can see that unfortunately um, it only works for uh, basically Android at this stage um, Safari on iOS is currently not supported so don't rely on this for production um, or any critical you know cases but it can be useful or just a bit of fun alright so um, let's go ahead and go back inside this document and explore the vibration API Okay, so um, once I've written all this JavaScript, um, I'm going to switch to a um, to a camera in real life and use a mobile phone to test out um, you know a few of these uh, functions I'm going to be writing. So we'll see the vibration API working in real life um, once I've written this JavaScript. Okay, so um, we're going to basically uh, create two buttons on this page. Um, one is going to be for a single vibration. And the second one's going to be for a vibration pattern because the API allows you to vibrate in a single shot or um, in a particular pattern. All right, so let's go ahead and actually create that right now. So inside my text editor, we can begin by creating those two buttons. Okay, so I'm going to make a button down here with a class of button. So this button class for me, for my CSS script, uh, CSS style sheet um, just makes it look a bit nicer and a bit bigger. So uh, we have that and we're going to say here um, vibrate single. Okay, so um, we can make a second one which will be vibrate in a pattern. Alright, and then on the phone we can just uh, press on one of these buttons to test out what actually happens. Okay, um, we can also add an on click listener for each of these buttons. Okay, so we can say when these gets clicked, so on click. And for now, we'll leave that as being blank. All right, so I can save this and refresh, and of course, we get this right here. All right, cool. So um, back inside here, I might just add a break to the first button. All right, cool. So now, let's create two JavaScript functions, which are going to vibrate in a single shot and also vibrate in a pattern. So let's create the first function for um, vibrating in a single shot. So we can say uh, function and call this one vibrate. And this will take in uh, a single millisecond parameter. All right, and this will simply call the navigator.vibrate method. So I'm going to say navigator.vibrate and pass in here the millisecond. So that is all it takes to create a vibration using JavaScript. Super easy. All right, and we can just um, go inside of here in the on click and let's say, yep, we're going to call the vibrate method and we're going to pass in, for example, 1000 milliseconds. So this is going to vibrate for a total of one second. All right, and we also have the vibration pattern. So down here, let's create a function called uh, vibrate pattern. And this we can take in uh, or accept no parameters. But instead, we're going to uh, once again call the uh, vibrate method, but this time we're going to pass an array into um, the first argument. So this array is going to contain a bunch of milliseconds. So for example, if I was to write out 300, then 100, then 300 again, 100, and then 300, this right here is going to basically alternate between vibrating and not vibrating. So it's going to vibrate for 300 milliseconds and then not for 100 milliseconds and then so on. So vibrate, not vibrate, vibrate, not vibrate, and then vibrate. Okay, cool. So now I can go inside here and call the vibrate pattern uh, function. Okay, so I can save this and then refresh the browser. And of course, on desktop, you won't get any sort of effects. All right, um, so we're going to switch to mobile view now and see it working in action. Alright, so on the mobile phone, um, I've just got this Samsung Galaxy S7 here. And I'm just going to refresh this page from earlier. Alright, cool. So we have here a vibrate single and vibrate pattern, of course. So I can just tap this button up here. And we get a single vibration. I can tap the pattern and we get... 
the pattern. All right, and that right there is the vibration API in JavaScript. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.